thank you so much for coming out to today's last minute press conference. I had to call this press conference because I, I believe I need to address some issues today that have risen from our 20 point loss to one of the worst teams in the SEC in recent years. And uh, I normally don't pay attention to the paper, but somebody had spray painted some uh, slurs on my driveway and I had to address it because I figured if they'd sprayed it on my driveway, our players had already heard about it. So let me, let me get my glasses so I can see. Last night we lost by a lot of points to a horrible team. A lot of people's been calling for my head. I get it. But I want to tell you, if I seem cool as a cucumber, here's the reason why. You're South Carolina. You've been losing for years. And if you lost under me, it's no different than if you lost under somebody else. Now, I'm going to be blunt with you in telling you, though we could not cover 15-1, and one, that does not change that we beat Georgia just a couple of weeks ago. How many of you remember when we beat Georgia a couple of weeks ago? I do. You're happy. Uh, in fact, y'all called for an extension for me. I don't know if that was y'all or my wife, but you called for an extension. And there's too many of you here who is forgetting who I am. I'm Will Muschamp. You cannot spell championship without most of the letters in my last name. None of them. Uh, you cannot spell the words win without the first two letters of my first name, Will. And y'all are calling for my head. And I just want to remind you exactly who I am and how great I am by referencing Nick Saban, our God and Lord and Savior of SEC football. For, so for all of you from church folk, even if you ain't church folk, stand for the reading of God's Word. I'm going to reference what Nick Saban said many years ago in an article that Will Muschamp is one of the greatest defensive minds in the history of college football. I guarantee it. You can sit down. So while y'all are all mad and calling for my head, I want you to know something. I've already won because I'm a champion. Right now, normally I'd hide that I'm drinking you would have to pay almost $20 million to buy me out. Ray Tanner shows up on a daily basis begging me just for us to even semi-compete because he knows that if y'all fire me, you have to pay me more money than God has. So I'm going to enjoy this ice-cold beer while it's ice-cold. I like a good beer. And I want y'all to all remember that I've already won, even if you lose, because I will go away with almost $20 million. Questions. Go ahead and open this up for questions for all you bunch of losers who wants me to be fired. You. Mm -hmm. That's none of your business. Yes, I am wearing shorts with a dress coat, a dress shirt. If I want to do that, I can do it. You know why? Because... If they fire me, they pay me money that you would have to work at your... How much you make a year? 40000 40000 Let me say, they're going to have to pay me $20 million. You would have to work 30 years just to make $1.2 So you sit there with your calculator and figure out how much, how many lifetimes you would have to live to earn how much they'd have to pay me out if they fired me today. Next question. No, I'm not worried. We did our best. I did the best player. Do you realize you're in Columbia, South Carolina? Nobody wants to come here. Yeah, I, I, I know you're over there crowing. Would you please stop crowing? I hate that chicken. Would you just, would you please stop crowing? Uh, nobody wants to come here. 
It's hot. There's nothing to do. Even the Outback Steakhouse sucks here. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? All right. Well, y'all just know, even though you're losing, I'm winning. Stop writing bad things about me. Much champ out.